Would you like to see the way it really is? Some of you are so wrapped up in your problems. You're so wrapped up in the life you're living right now, friend. God is going to open up your eyes right now. You're going to see, see, your problem's not your work. Your problem's not your relationships with people. Your problem's not your economy. It's not your bank account. Your problem is not because you're less educated or more educated than someone else. Your problem's not because you're not as smart as this person or, or you know, no, those aren't your problems. Your problem is you're not close to Jesus. If you'll seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. Those of you that feel like you're uneducated, some of the greatest preachers that ever graced this continent couldn't even speak the English language. I mean, they massacred it. They would stand behind the pulpit and shake tens of thousands of people. D.L. Moody was one of them. Shake the multitudes. Why? Just a common man with an uncommon God. <laughs> Powerful man. When he spoke, people listened because they knew he had his eyes open. The rest of them were like scribes and Pharisees. Charity's going to sing a song called Run to the Mercy Seat. A bunch of you are going to turn in your canes tonight. You're going to drop your glasses at the altar. You're going to leave out here with your eyes wide open. Jesus Christ, and I'm not going to share a couple pages on that, but he has, he has the power to open your eyes tonight. Only Jesus can, friend. Drop the other junk, would you? See, Jesus, you can't accept Jesus tonight like a hip pocket, get out of jail free card, you know, just another part of your life. He becomes your life. That's why some of you have blown it. That's why some of you have blown it. Because Jesus, you asked him to come be part of your life. No, he wants your whole life. He wants everything, friend. He wants to heal your blindness. He wants to open your eyes, friend. He wants to change everything for you. He's not a get-out-of-jail-free card. He's not something you hang from your dashboard mirror. Charity's going to sing, Run to the Mercy Seat. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give an altar call for everyone in this place that needs Jesus Christ to come into their life. You're tired of the blindness. You're tired of being led astray. You want Jesus Christ to heal your spiritual eyes. You want the Lord to come and be the Lord and master of your life, your guide. I don't care about tomorrow, friend. He's got my hand. It doesn't make any difference to me. Jesus is already there. He is already there tomorrow. And I'm going to step into it. He's already been there. He knows everything that's going to go on. He's my guide. He wants to be that for you, friend. Those of you that are away from God tonight, you need forgiveness. Those of you tonight that have never known the Lord, but you know exactly what I'm talking about, friend. You're as blind as blind can be. But you want to meet Jesus. You want to meet the one, the one who John the Baptist looked up at and said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. You want to meet the one that opens up the blinded eyes, friend. The one who set 25,000 blind men free in this revival. 25,000 have come left their canes down here at this altar, friend. Religious people, those of you that are religious in this room, listen to me. Religion will damn you to hell. Religion will not save you. Don't tell me how much you know about the Lord. Tell me, do you know the Lord? Do you know him? Everybody knows about him. That's why I never argue with anybody about anything. I will not ever argue. I talk to people, I say, do you know Jesus? They'll go, well, let me tell you what my church believes. Back off, Jack. I asked you a question. Do you know Jesus? Do you wake up in the morning with Jesus on your heart? Do you go to sleep at night with Jesus on your heart? Do you sing his praises through the day? Is he your love? Is he everything to you? Do you worship him? Do you know him? Is he everything to you? Well, Steve, what our church believes is that you're baptized as an infant and confirmed when you're 12 years old and you're going to go, I didn't ask you that, friend. What are you going to do? Stand before God one day and go, uh, 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 uh. God, you know what denomination I'm from and you know what we believe. Case closed. He'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Next. 
Do you know him? Young people, do you know him? When Charity begins singing this song, you're going to come to the altar as quickly as you can. You're going to come to this altar. Those of you that need forgiveness in this place, there's a blockage between you and the Lord and you know it. Something has severed you from God. It can be pornography. It can be witchcraft. It can be the, the love of money, which is the root of all evil. It's damning this county. It's damning the panhandle of Florida, the love of money. I watch it. I can smell it and I can see it in the eyes of the people. More, more, more. I don't care about my family. I said more, more, more. I want a bigger house, a bigger car, a bigger this, a bigger that. If that's a sin that's gotten between you and God, you need to repent, sir, as much as a drug addict needs to repent. You need to come back to God tonight. Those of you that are backsliders, you're away from the Lord. This is your opportunity to come to Jesus. Come back to Jesus. Come back. Come back. Some of you, I just saw this in the spirit realm. Some of you, your eyes are glazed over. You can still see. You're not totally blind. You can still see a little bit. You're in a backslidden condition. But you can tell the further you get away from God, the darker it's getting. And your eyes are getting almost completely closed. Somebody brought you to this revival tonight. And you're seeing for the first time in a long time. Your scales are beginning to come off. I want to tell you, I'm warning you, friend. If you don't come down to this altar, when you walk out those doors, those scales are going to crust over your eyes. God's trying to help you. You come to this altar as soon as charity sings. Here's what we're going to do. Down, uh, everyone... Everyone in the congregation, I want you to stand. Nobody talking and nobody moving around. Charity is going to sing, run to the mercy seat. Look at me, everybody. This is your opportunity to get right with the Lord. Jesus loves you and has a plan for your life. He's been trying to get a hold of you. You're going to drop the white cane of religion tonight. Everybody believes in something. Everybody follows somebody, friend. But tonight I want to ask you, who are you following? Who are you listening to? And you know without a shadow of a doubt you need to follow Jesus Christ. You know it. We've had New Agers saved in here by the scores. New Agers. Why? They know that's all hogwash, man. It's hogwash. It's junk. Mystics come to this revival, get saved. Witches have come and gotten saved. Why? They know. It's no match to the power of God. None of it is. A match to the power of the Lord. And their eyes are wide open when they come into this place. We've had intellectuals come in here. We've had brilliant people. We've had successful businessmen and women come in this place. And suddenly the Lord grips them. And they realize that all their intelligence is not getting them ten feet in life. They need the Lord and they need him now. Charity's going to sing, run to the mercy seat. Everyone in this room, you need God to forgive you. Those of you putting up your chairs, when this altar call is given... Every one of you that need Jesus, you're going to come also. You're going to come to the cross tonight. You're going to come and the Lord's going to open up your blinded eyes. As soon as she begins to sing, everyone who needs forgiveness in this room, you need the Lord to wash your sins away. You need to come back to Jesus. You need forgiveness. Every single one in this room, in the balcony, at home, as soon as she sings, I want you to come quickly and let the Lord wash those scales from your eyes. I want you to come right now. I need the Lord. I need the Lord. Come on right now, friend. I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness. Come right now. Come on right now. I need the Lord. Hurry. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I need the Lord. 